oh wow, it's March already. And does this somehow magically mean that we're going to get access to more GPUs? Well, according to the latest rumors, AMD is planning to release more RX 6700 XT GPUs than they've done with any of their RX 6000 cards, but I don't really know if this is still just a rumor or is indeed going to turn out to be fact. What I do know for sure is that in less than two days from now, they're going to be hosting their Where Gaming Begins event, so that's the 3rd of March at 7 p.m. Central European Standard Time, where we are going to be learning more about the RX 6700 XT and most probably its performance, pricing, and hopefully availability. Now, I'm also hopeful that AMD is going to be talking more about the RDNA 2 mobile architecture because they haven't really done that uh, for now. And if you want to learn more about that, here's an old video that I've done because you might want to catch up with that. And uh, you might also want to catch up with the live stream that I will be doing here on the channel. Uh, so that's going to take place 15 minutes prior to the uh, to their official live stream. So if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts on the RX 6700 XT GPU and some other things that are going to be showcased during the event or maybe have some questions, then do make sure to tune into the channel. So that's 6.45 p.m. Central European Standard Time just to get that out of the way. But the gist of it is that AMD is going to be unveiling the RX 6700 XT and we're expecting expecting a price of 479 or 499 US dollars or euros respectively if you live in Europe just like me and I'm a little bit confused because generally prior to the launch uh, of a GPU or I guess pretty much any product right now, we generally know um, what this product is going to cost, so in this case the GPU, but with AMD uh, it seems that they are still uh, talking about this and that's at least what I've been able to see from other fellow YouTubers and also read on Twitter, um, but we're going to see exactly if they're going to go for 479 or 499 Now obviously what's $20 if you can't really buy this GPU, but you also have to consider that the RX 6700XT is going to go head to head against the RTX 3060 Ti, which is cheaper at 399, but that's obviously just the MSRP because they these GPUs haven't really sold for 399. And speaking of the RTX 3060, that one was supposedly going to sell for 329, but we all know how well that went. There have probably been some people who have been able to get these GPUs for 329, but not a lot. Now, in terms of uh, performance, I obviously meant to rasterize performance because we don't really know how this card is going to perform in ray traced scenarios and we've seen what um, AMD's cards looked like um, right now in um, ray tracing scenarios and they haven't been just as good as um, Nvidia's offering to be fair but obviously not everyone cares about that so we're going to see how these things are going to um, evolve or turn out to to be right um, another thing that I've covered on the channel was uh, the video that Cortex has done and you guys probably remember that AMD is planning to release two variants of this card so a 190 watt and 230 watts uh, version of these cards but what um, I was able to find is that um, the 230 watt version is going to be uh, dedicated to AABs and speaking of that we've seen already two cards from ASUS and those have been the dual and the tough cards and I don't really know how different they are to the other cards in this generation or even compared to the RTX uh, cards that we've seen so far or at least with the shroud because obviously there is a lot more um, beneath uh, the shroud that is going to happen with these GPUs but what I can expect is that the tough cards so the R or the tough version the RX 6700 XT tough card whatever they're going to um, be calling it is obviously going to have uh, some really nice temps because we've seen that so far and the nice performance obviously because we've seen that so far with the other cards in this generation now of course this also means that these gpus are going to be a little bit pricier so maybe don't look at that card if you are coming here with a pocket that's um, half empty i guess but what i would like to talk more about is um, mobile GPUs and I know a lot of you guys are interested in that but sadly there is no other information that I was able to find but what I did find more about is that um, the 8 core Tiger Lake H CPUs are going to release at some point really soon because we've seen some um, uh, leaked images of the uh, 
8 core Tiger Lake H CPU spotted in some Lenovo Legion listings. And I think we are hitting two birds with one stone here because there are some people who are interested in the 8 core variant of the Tiger Lake um, chips um, on these laptops. And there are a lot of you who are interested in Lenovo's upcoming laptops. And I know a lot of you have uh, texted me about it. And I guess this is your uh, best thing to look at. Or you could check what I posted in the community tab. And that's been a Lenovo Legion 5. Uh, Pro laptop and that one had a 5800H and an RTX 3070 and those are some pretty interesting specs to have on a laptop but I don't really know when these are going to launch uh, neither for the Intel variant nor for the uh, AMD version but what I have been able to find out is that on init.ac uh, so that's the Swedish website they said that uh, these might launch uh, sometime at the end of April so I guess that's the end of it until Lenovo is going to give us some um, more official news and speaking of some more official news I guess uh, some of you guys have sent me a video of their Russian presentation and they have uh, fully detailed these laptops but I haven't really been able to follow it so uh, if you have more information on it then definitely post it in the comment section down below because there are a lot of people who are waiting on these laptops but going back to the Intel Tiger Lake H CPU we've seen the 11900HK CPU inside of this Lenovo Legion 7 together with the RTX 3080, 32 gigs of RAM and a Quad HD panel. And those are of course on paper, some really cool specs, but don't expect to pay uh, 900 US dollars or euros for this laptop. Like we've seen on uh, the listings uh, right here, because you're obviously going to see this laptop is going to cost way more when it's going to launch. And I don't really even know if um, these are indeed going to be the exact specs that you are going to be able to get for even two to three thousand um, euros let's say but time will only tell what i can <laughs> assure you is that some people have managed to get their hands on the 11700k cpus that i've also posted uh, on the community tab really useful thing to have i guess uh, for you guys because mind factory has indeed sold some of these cpus and we've seen um, multiple sources confirming this so video cards uh, hardware locks and also some other german forums and some people on twitter and mind factory as well has also told people that yes these cpus have indeed uh, shipped and you can see that on their website as well and the there was this guy on twitter who asked them and they were like yeah we're shipping this product and that's really cool to see that intel is not even well they haven't launched these cpus officially and people are already getting their hands on them and i guess that's why we've started seeing some more leaks of uh, about these uh, cpus and i have done a video right here talking about their performance so far but Obviously, there are going to be some more changes in the BIOS and I guess some driver updates and way more things that are going to be happening in the upcoming two to three weeks. Uh, and so do take these results with a grain of salt. And other than that, I don't really have more things to cover for today. But if you guys have seen anything that have been interesting, then let me know in the comment section down below. And I'll hopefully see you in another video, which might be tomorrow. Otherwise, we're going to see each other during the live stream. So uh, thanks again for watching and bye bye.